Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and we're in Los Angeles, California at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Mark Gerdish, who's the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at Franciscan Health in Indianapolis, Indiana. Dr. Gerdish, we have known each other for over 10 years. You've successfully treated over 100 patients in our community. We're here at SDS and it's always a gift to be in your presence. Thanks for being with me today. Thanks, always a pleasure. Yeah, so we're gonna answer a patient question that came in today from Amy. And Amy asks, I'm a 47 year old female with known mitral valve prolapse from a Barlow's valve since I was a child. Regurgitation is now moderate to severe with multiple jets and tricuspid regurgitation is mild to moderate. My atrium is mildly dilated. Should valves be repaired while heart function is still normal? And if so, what is the likelihood of getting both mitral and tricuspid valves repaired, not replaced? Right, so it's a very insightful question. Uh, and it's actually true that a lot of folks with valve problems, mitral regurgitation specifically, who are otherwise healthy, they don't become symptomatic. So folks aren't aware that they have the problem and we can lose ground with those ventricles. And the reason for that is the ventricle becomes volume overloaded and over time starts to change shape and it may not go back to normal. So specifically to a Barlow with multiple jets, often when we do a transesophageal echocardiogram and study it well, we find that it's actually severe because there's multiple jets, they need to be summated to determine the regurgitation volume. The left atrium being enlarged is a little bit of an indicator. We, don't, we like to get actual dimensions on that and get a better look at it. But I am concerned that the tricuspid valve is leaking. So moderate tricuspid insufficiency needs to be addressed. It can't be left alone. But it's also an indicator that perhaps the process has moved along a bit. Now, people can have myxomatous changes. They can have changes in their tricuspid valve, too, that are organic. But usually, it's secondary to the mitral regurgitation. So we would want to ascertain whether that was the case. The, uh, the answer to the repair question is that yes, they would both be repaired. Uh, for folks who do a lot, surgeons who do a lot of mitral valve repair, it's almost 100% likelihood that that valve will be repaired. So it's important that she work with people that are gonna be comfortable with some certainty to repair the mitral valve. Whether that's minimally invasive the way we would do it or through a, a sternotomy, either way, the most important thing is that the valves be preserved. Amy, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me and Dr. Gerdish on behalf of all the patients Amy, all over the world. Thanks for everything you and your team are doing at Franciscan Health in Indianapolis, Indiana. Thanks so much for being with me today. Thanks, Adam. Hi, everybody. It's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.